So here are five variable came up. Total contains the thirty two cells, and out of these thirty two cells, we have uh, to represent these two thirty two cells in the decimal numbers. So here it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. After eleven, the twelve is nothing but zero double one zero. So zero, one, one. And double zero. So zero double one zero means here it is twelve, thirteen, fourteen here, fifteen. Okay. Now sixteen is coming here. Sixteen is one, four zero. So sixteen will come here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty-three and next twenty-four. Twenty-four means uh, twenty-four means it is double one, triple zero. That's what uh, here it is sixteen plus eight. That is twenty-four. So here you are going to get twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one. Now thirty-one. Means double one, triple one. So this is how we'll be giving the numbering for a five variable k-map. Now, if you see the second method of representing a five variable k-map, it is almost same that of your four variable k-map. But here, as it is a equals to zero and a is equals to one, one to sixteen will be represent in the first k-map, and uh, uh, sixteen to thirty-one is represent in the second variable k-map, uh, four variable k-map. Now. Here, giving the numbering zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, coming to the sixteen, that is a is equals to one zero 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 zero. That means this four zeros, that is a equals to one. Next two zeros. And from here two zeros. So this is your sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Next one we have is twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one. Now if you see thirty-one, that is. Here thirty one is one 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 already you have one so this is how we are representing a five variable k map in two methods one is taking completely five variables together the second one is taking four variables identical four variable k map and assigning a is equal zero for one and a is equal to one for the second one so for first one to fifteen you will be having a is equal zero from sixteen onwards the a value will be one so we are representing in two different methods whether you solve a problem using this method or this k map or this k map the result will be same so now we'll see how the adjacent cells will be in the uh, five variable k map as we know about the four variable k map the side by side cells always how you are having the adjacent cells the same will be for your four variable and four variable now here also these four are adjacent again these four are adjacent uh, sorry this Four variable and this four variable, four variable, it is having the adjacent cells. So now, what exactly the adjacent cells means? Here, when I take one K map on the other one, one K map on the other one, it will have some adjacent cells like zero and sixteen will be adjacent, one and seventeen, three and nineteen, two and eighteen, and so on. So this is how you'll be having the adjacent cells. Let us see how the orientation is. Now, if you see here, the zero and sixteen. Now, this zero and sixteen. What is zero? Zero means one uh, five zeros. And now sixteen. Coming to the sixteen, that is one four zeros. So only one bit change. So zero and sixteen will be adjacent. Okay. Now, likewise, next one and twenty, twelve and this number. And next one, this last number, what is that? That is 
zero one two three. Yes, here yeah, these numbers will be adjacent. Means if I take one on the other, one on the other. Now these two will be adjacent here, here, and here. So whenever I am doing the grouping of numbers or cells in a five variable K map, we will be taking one variable K map, four variable. And superimposing the second one on the first one, and we will try to see the adjacent cells in the two four variable K map such that you will be getting a maximum grouping. So, once again, please check this. So, one that is BCDE for A is equals to zero is on the top, and the next one is BCDE for A equals to one is at the bottom. So, we have total the 32 cells, so we can. A match from one K map to the other K map for the adjacent cells. Now let us solve the problem based on this one. Now the problem what we have is simplify the boolean expression which is given here. Now I need to identify the cells and keep the ones into the concerned cells. Now as I have a zero here, I am taking a zero. Next two, when zero one zero one two. Three, four, five, six, and seven here. So eight, nine is here. This nine is coming here. Nine, ten, and eleven. So I have eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now I have fifteen here. Now coming to the sixteen, it is here. Now seventeen will come here. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22 23 24 and 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 now first i have marked all the ones into the given k map now i need to check how to simplify this one as now i need to imagine that the second one is on the first one so if i see like that the maximum grouping is possible so now if i take imagine that second one is on the first or first is on second you can see that these four cells and these four cells are overlapping so maximum i can go for eight grouping here so when i go for eight grouping when with the two uh, k maps of four and four variable when a is changing so a is automatically uh, redundant or eliminated and only I need to check for these four variables now here B is as it is so B will be there C is eliminated and here D is eliminated and uh, you are having a E so my answer will be here that is B and E B and E three variables are eliminated when I group a uh, maximum of eight cells now I need to check with these four within the K map. Now I can group these four also. So within a K map, I can group these four. So what I'm going to get here is now A bar. Okay, A bar. Next, B bar. Next, C is eliminated. From here to here, the E bar is there. E bar. So D is eliminated. Zero changing to one that is eliminated. Now I have these two cells. If I superimpose this one on this, nothing is going to happen. So what I do here is I'll group these four. So these four is the maximum grouping. So now B is changing and C is changing. So B and C are eliminated, and I have this A and this is D bar and uh, e so finally my answer is f of f of a comma b comma c comma d comma e after simplification is b e plus a bar b bar e bar plus a d bar e so this is how we'll be simplifying a boolean expression of five variable using a five variable k map now let us check one more problem based on the don't care entries now see here and this particular uh, example i am showing the five variable k map with some don't care entries 
now this procedure will be same for both of them so here what I do is I'll be uh, first marking the uh, main terms then afterwards I'll be marking the don't care entries so now let us see now 1 0 1 2 3 4 is here so these two are marked so again 5 6 7 8 is here 8 is marked 9 10 and 11 11 is marked 12 13 14 15 now 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 23 24 25 26 next already i have marked all the min terms now i need to mark the don't care entries that is 0 i marked next 12 where 12 it is this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I am having a 12 here. Next 16. Here is 1, 16 and 17. So after marking, what is my intention? First, I need to go for the maximum grouping. So maximum grouping means first, I need to check the 16 and 16. That is total 32 cells grouping. That is not possible. And next, after 32, I need to check for 8 cells. So it is not possible. Now after 8, I need to check for 4 cells, one on the other if I see, uh, there is no possibility of here these two and these two four are grouped and these four can be grouped. So what I do is, I will first group these four separately and grouping these four, what is the answer I am going to get is A is always there, so A bar, next D bar and A bar. So here that is a bar d bar and a bar and next if i superimpose this on this one so i can group these two and these two so these two and these two i can group i am getting the answer here as that is 0 0 is there and a is eliminated so b bar c bar and 0 changing uh, 0 is not changing, the D value is not changing and E value is changing, so this is D bar. So I got that. Now again, imagine that this is superimposed and uh, now these two can be grouped with these two, is it right? These two can be grouped with these two or else you can group with these two. Now what I have is, what I can have is A, A next one is b is changed c bar next one is here d bar okay now that is over next what i have is these two are there there is no possibility so first i will group this one and this one so if i group one one if i want i can use this two and these two also to be 1 1 2 3 and 4 so this 4 I am grouping together now 4 1 on the other so what is happening here is I am going to get only B C bar why because 0 changing to 1 and 0 is here and 0 changing to 1 and 0 is here so now how many 4 group means uh, 2 grouping 1 variable 3 grouping 2 variables 4 grouping 3 variables should be eliminated now 3 variables are eliminated now what I have here is this horizontal direction A is gone B and C is there vertical direction and one more variable I should have 4 grouping so here the fourth one what we have is that is E bar so again I left over with these two so I can group these two I can group these two cells that is this one and this one so what I have here is when I group these two A is eliminated now one variable will be eliminated so I have B bar C D bar and E bar and this is a single one which cannot be overlapped so what I have here is that is 0 1 that is A next one is B bar C next 
d bar e so all the five variables will be there in the given cell so this is how we'll be simplifying the five variable k map now just for a small thing we'll see how a six variable k map will be a six variable k map uh, uh, will have total 2 power 6 cells that is 64 cells so i am taking four four fair four variable k maps here um, this is one two three and four if you see the adjacent cells it will be having the cells which are when i keep all the four k maps one on the other four variable k maps one on the other like this one first one second third and fourth now 2 16 50 and 34 these four will be the adjacent cells likewise 0 16 uh, this number and this 32 will be the adjacent cells so like this we'll be doing the adjacent cells in your given six variable k map so total i have 64 cells somewhat complex this is complex to simplify simplify so this is how exactly your six variable k map will be but uh, we are not concerned about the six variable k map so we are only limiting our discussion to the uh, five variable k map to show a small uh, arrangement of your six variable k map i have shown this figure so thank you uh, for more videos please subscribe to our channel thank you